I've seen an increasing number of people over the past few weeks. And I mean, this number has been increasing exponentially. It's snowballing at this point. An increasing number of people who are questioning the integrity of Tyson Fury. And this is in regards to his pre-fight claim that he would give his entire Deontay Wilder fight purse away to charity. People are very suspicious that it was just some grandiose PR stunt to try and make himself out to be this saint type figure and rally the British public around him. People do not believe that he followed through. Uh, They believe that he has kept that money or done something else with it because ever since the Wilder fight, we haven't seen him present any checks for millions of pounds to any charities. We haven't seen him speak on it since the fight. Well, apparently Tyson Fury has been hearing what the public are saying about him and he's finally decided to respond and he's come out in a mainstream press in the UK and he's insisted that he has given his entire fight purse away to charity. Now, he doesn't show any pictures of checks. He doesn't name any charities that he's given millions of pounds away to or hundreds of thousands of pounds away to. I guess he just expects us to take his word for it. And hey, maybe he did it. Maybe he didn't. You either choose to believe him or you choose not to believe him. That's your business. I have no idea whether he did or he didn't. What's far more interesting to me is this number that the British press are quoting. Seven million pounds. Now in dollars, it equates to about nine million dollars. And if you remember a few weeks ago, I did a video where I calculated roughly what Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder earned combined, their combined purses, inclusive of of pay-per-view, and it came to no more than about $21 million. Now, if this figure is accurate, and to me, it seems pretty accurate, you know, based upon my calculation, and remember, this is also inclusive of worldwide pay-per-view, it says here, because Fury's baseline purse was 2.5 million pounds but pay-per-view money collected across the world is estimated to boost the purse up to 7 million pounds 9 million dollars so it seems as though my calculation was correct see talk sporter quoting the same figure my calculation was correct that Wilder and Fury combined made about $20 million roughly, including all the worldwide pay-per-view. That is less than Anthony Joshua earned on his own against Alexander Povetkin, a man who most of the British public have never heard of. And yet Tyson Fury is demanding 50-50 from Anthony Joshua. Now, I also have to go over something I said in a previous video where I was asking Eddie Hearn to clarify exactly what Tyson Fury has asked from him because in multiple interviews now, including interviews over the past week or so, Eddie Hearn in the very same interview has said that Tyson Fury wants a flat fee and then then in the next breath, he said Tyson Fury wants 50-50. Which is it? Does he want a flat fee or does he want 50-50? We need clarification. I've heard some people very ignorant people saying, oh, Hatman, what are you talking about? It's Frank Warren who wants 50-50, not Tyson Fury. (sighs) Frank Warren has said he wants 50-50, okay? But in those interviews, Eddie Hearn has not talked about Frank Warren. He has specifically named Tyson Fury and said that Fury wants 50-50, specifically on multiple occasions. That's not a mistake. He keeps on saying Fury wants 50-50, but in the same interviews, he's saying Fury wants a flat fee. So which is it? Is it 50-50 or is it a flat fee? Is it a case of the flat fee being the equivalent of the 
you know, 50-50 of the projected gross revenue or net revenue from the AJ Fury fight? Is that where this 50-50 business is coming from? Either way, it just shows you that Tyson Fury is not happy with the money he was being offered to fight AJ on April 13th. He turned it down. He's demanding the equivalent of 50-50, it would seem. When he only earned $9 million for his last fight, he earned roughly one third of what Andy Joshua earned for his last fight against Povetkin. But yet a man's talking about 50-50. When Anthony Joshua is offering Tyson Fury 60-40, it's generous. Because this is a man who only earned a third of what AJ earned for his last fight. And he only earned, earned a third, and that was against the second or the third biggest name in the heavyweight division. AJ earned three times as much as Fury fighting somebody in Povetkin who most of the British public had never heard of. So Tyson Fury is a very smart man. I think Tyson Fury and Dylan White in particular are very, very smart. Uh, and Tyson Fury knows that Anthony Joshua, this is my view, he knows that Anthony Joshua is more dangerous or, or at least he suspects because he can't know until he's been in the ring with him in a professional fight. But I'm 100% convinced that Tyson Fury suspects that Anthony Joshua is actually far more dangerous than Deontay Wilder is. Yeah, even though he says the opposite, even though his brother Shane says the opposite, actions speak louder than words. And Tyson Fury's actions would indicate that he sees Deontay Wilder as an easier path to a title. Which is why he's so insistent on getting this 50-50 against AJ because he sees it as a much bigger risk. Boxing's all about risk reward. So Tyson Fury is a very intelligent man. He knows how to manipulate the public narrative. Um, and he wants to increase his market value to the point where if he does decide to fight AJ, he can legitimately sit down and talk about 50, 50 because there's a decent chance then they will get it. If he's WBC champion and the Wilder rematch does good numbers. So, yeah, that's my take on it, people. £7 million pounds or $9 million is what he made against Deontay Wilder, according to press reports. How can a man who made only one third of what AJ made be demanded 50-50? How does that make sense? You know, people say AJ needs to be, stop being so greedy. Okay, why doesn't Tyson Fury stop it? Tyson Fury is a guy running around saying he don't care about money. So doesn't it make more sense that the guy who says he don't care about money should be willing to take 60-40 since he don't care about money? And, you know, when it comes to principle, I just don't buy the whole principle business. I think what's really going on here is just what I said. Tyson Fury is a very smart man. And he suspects, or he believes, that Anthony Joshua represents a much bigger risk in the ring than Deontay Wilder. And so therefore, he wants to be compensated in accordance with that risk, with that increased risk. So he wants to be paid a lot more to fight AJ than he would get paid fighting Wilder. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It's happening I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week, covering a wide variety of controversial topics, as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up 
There's no contract and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.